Hey y'all, welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host Tiffany, in case you don't know who I am. If this is your first time coming across my videos or my channel or wherever you're watching this from, hello. Thank you for joining. Um, today we're doing a recap of season three of Barry, gearing up for tomorrow, y'all. Um, so again, if you're new or if you really haven't been watching my videos or anything like that, you should know that I am a huge fan of the HBO show Barry starring Bill Hader. Um, the fourth and final season is coming out tomorrow, so it's premiering tomorrow, Sunday, April 16th. Um, I don't know the actual time. I probably should know the time by now, but it will be on HBO or HBO Max. Um, so I'm pretty much just letting y'all know for anybody that's new or anybody that's been watching me. I'm going to be talking about Barry for like the next month, so just get ready. I'm just warning you guys now because I've been waiting for this since season three ended last year. It's literally been a year, uh, which is crazy because it's been a year since I've started my podcast, so it's just all wrapped into one. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I wanted to kind of do like a little recap of season three and maybe even talk a little bit about what happened in season one and two just to kind of, you know, get us all prepared for the new season um let me know how you guys are feeling about this like I don't know like I feel like last year was funny and when season three was coming out I was super nervous about it and I was just like I don't know if I want to watch this like obviously I did watch it but I was very much like I'm not ready for it to come out yet and now I'm just like let's go I'm ready to see what's gonna happen um I did react to the season four trailer so if you missed that video you can head on over to my YouTube channel. It's on my Facebook page as well. Um, after you watch this, you can go and uh, watch that if you miss me reacting to the trailer. Um, and also, if you go all the way back to like the first few episodes that I did on my podcast, it was all about Barry. So I guess if you want to watch that, you can as well. Um, so it's kind of going to be a little bit of that, basically. Just me kind of talking about Barry. And, and for, an, for anybody that really is not um familiar with the show has no idea what it's about I guess I can kind of go over that a little bit and hopefully get you guys into it um I'm hoping if you're listening to me talking about this that you're actually interested in it because <laughs> if you have no idea what I'm talking about this might be pretty boring for you I don't know um but it's exciting for me clearly so um I I honestly I'm kind of like ill prepared today I didn't really take any notes like I usually do I usually have a hand but um, like a notebook or, you know, something on hand where I could write down notes for what I'm going to be talking about today. And I did not do that because I was just like, well, I'll just talk about Barry. Um, so I didn't write anything down. So hopefully, like, if I, you know, get any information wrong, you guys can correct me in the comments or let me know. Because um, I, I don't remember, like, specifically, you know, everything that happened in season three. I just know that season three was a, it was a pretty big season, I feel like, for the show. I think a lot more people started watching it when season three came out. Um, and, you know, like if you look at any of the articles or um, anything that was like written about it at that time, it was all like this dark HBO series or this show is getting really dark. Like everybody just kept saying how dark it was, like how, it, you know, the humor had kind of been lost from season one to season two. And now they were just full on going into like a, a crime, like almost like a crime action show, which kind of. It kind of did happen that way, but season three was really, was really um, great and entertaining, and it was really intense. And I feel like they'll probably kind of keep that same tone going into season four. I'm hope I, I'm hoping personally that there's a little bit more humor being brought back into it, just because I I kind of missed that from last season. But I understand that like obviously with like <laughs> Barry being in prison now. Um, and just everything going to crap. I, I don't know how much humor they can put into it. I don't know how funny it'll be. But I'm hoping that like. If if nobody else is funny. I'm hoping that Hank is, is funny a little bit. Um, he's actually my favorite character in the show. And um, that's probably like the one thing I'm actually nervous about. Where I'm like okay what are they going to do to my baby Hank. Because that's my, that's my favorite character. And I, I feel like he's been dodging death since the very first episode of the series. Um, and, what, and what's crazy is, fun fact, if you guys didn't know, Hank was actually um, supposed to die the first episode, but I think, I think it was Bill and Alec and the people that ran the show, I think they were, they, you know, they were kind of like, no, we don't want to kill him, like, we actually really like his character, and 
Um, I guess they saw potential for him to be more, and, and now, look, now he's like a fan favorite. So I think part of me is a little nervous, and I'm like, okay, he's made it this far. What what are they going to do to him? Like, are they going to kill him off this last season? Um, or are they going to give him a happy ending? Or, like, what's going to happen between him and Crystal Ball? I'm really interested to see what's going to go on there. Um, just because last season was so traumatic for them. Like, it, they started out so happy and in love, and then it's just like... You know, uh, everything just just completely blew up in their faces, and yeah, I, I would say that's probably like the only thing I'm kind of nervous about. Like, what what's gonna happen with his character in the end? Um, as far as Barry, like I, at this point, I'm like, dude, like whatever happens to you, you deserve it because he's just he's just insane. Like you've had so many chances to redeem yourself. I feel like that's what all of last season was about. Was like you know, can I have forgiveness, can I redeem myself, you know, once you go past a certain point, um, or you do so many bad things, can you come back from that, you know, and I feel like that was kind of like the big question of the, of the, of season three, and it's like, you probably could have if you would have just stopped killing people, like, you had so many chances to, to make better choices, and to get out of, like, the crime world and all this kind of stuff, and, and he just didn't do it. And same thing with Fuchs, where I'm like, you literally had an out, and you didn't take it because you were too hell-bent on getting revenge, and you're too stuck in your feelings, and you're so much in your ego that, like, you couldn't just go off and, and live peacefully. Like, come on. So, at this point, I'm like, I'm really not, like, sitting here crying for Barry or Fuchs, because I'm like, you guys got yourselves into this mess. Now, I know, like... There was a time maybe in season two where I think, or maybe, I, I guess season one and season two where where Barry was really telling himself that, like, I'm just going to commit to acting and this is going to be my job and I'm just going to do this and I'm not going to, I'm not going to be a hitman anymore. I'm not going to be a part of this anymore. And he was trying to pull himself away from Fuchs and he kept getting pulled back in. But then it was kind of like you're letting yourself being pulled back in because you're a grown man. Like, he can clearly say no. He didn't have to take those jobs, you know what I'm saying? And I know, like, it's weird because he has this, like, twisted bond with Fuchs because Fuchs was his dad's friend. Um, And I guess, you know, he's kind of like family at this point. So, I don't know, maybe he kind of feels obligated to him in some kind of way just because he's known him for so long. And once Barry got out of the service, Fuchs was kind of like the only person that was there for him. And that he kind of gave him something to like, I don't know, I guess something to hold on to or something to focus on. Because Barry was like so depressed coming out of the military. And, and you know, I'm sure he probably wasn't doing anything until Fuchs came around and was like, hey, I got this job for you. And then it all started. So, you know, it's like on one hand, maybe he kind of helped him in some way. But on the other hand, it just took him down this really dark path. And now he's, he's, you know, all caught up in it. And I don't, you know, at this point for season four, I don't think there's any way that he can like truly get out of it unless he dies. And I know that's like really dark to say that, but I just, I feel like that's the only way, um, like even with him being in prison, there's still going to be some, some mess going on. We already know. So I really feel like, like the only I, I don't really see any other way that this can end where it would make sense other than Barry dying like I guess if they want to kind of redeem him a little bit maybe he would sacrifice himself for somebody else for like Sally or Kusino or you know somebody that he really cares about but like I don't even see Barry as that type of person to do that like he's so this whole time he's been doing things so that he doesn't get caught so I'm just like, no, I, I really don't see him, you know, going out in a heroic way. I just don't think that would fit the type of person he is. But I mean, who knows? You never know. I, I've been reading like articles and stuff since the trailer came out. And, um, you know, they're they're kind of talking about what season four consists of without giving anything away. And a lot of like the movie critics and people that have already seen the season they're like oh you're not going to expect this this is you know so I'm just like okay so maybe they are going to take a left turn and do something crazy like I don't know if it'll be with Barry's character or with like one of the other characters I don't know but I'm excited I'm looking forward to it um I don't really have 
to be honest, I, I like going into this, I really don't have any expectations. Like I feel like I did maybe the previous seasons. I think just because this is the final one, I'm just like, I just want to enjoy it because I know it's going to go by so fast. There's only eight episodes and each episode is only like 30 minutes, sometimes under 30 minutes. So it's just like, man, I just want to enjoy this and soak it all up, you know, one last time because after this, you know, the show is going to be gone. Um, I mean, obviously, like, you'll still be able to go back and rewatch it, but it there won't be any new episodes, so it's like, dang, like, I'm gonna be sad to not come on here and talk about this anymore, but, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not really going into it with expectations. You guys can let me know, like, what you think, what you're looking forward to. Um, the only thing, like I said in the beginning, was that I, I, I hope that they include a little bit more humor, if they can, some kind of way, um... Because I, I missed that from the first two seasons. And honestly, I really feel like it was the, the acting class that was making it funny. Like, obviously Hank is funny. But I think outside of that, when they would have scenes with all of them, you know, in the acting class and Kusano's class, I think that's what made it funny. Because it was just so dumb. And I'm like, these people are ridiculous. And, you know, obviously season three, there was no acting class. So, yeah. And I, I miss them, too. All the people that were part of the acting class. I wonder if there'll be any, like, little cameos or something like that. I heard that, I, okay, I guess this is kind of a spoiler, so if you don't want to hear it, close your ears um, or skip over this part. But I think I heard that Guillermo del Toro is, is making a guest appearance in one of the episodes or maybe, like, a few episodes. I'm not too sure. I, I don't remember if I read that or if I heard it in an interview, but um, for those who don't know who that is, he's a... Um, director, writer, all that kind of stuff. He, okay, so I did a review of the new Pinocchio movie that came out on Netflix, like, uh, maybe a couple months ago or something. I don't remember how long ago, but um, he created that film. And that, I thought that film was beautiful. Like, I am i don't watch animated films that much anymore like I used to, but, like, that film was, was really good. Um, way better than what I thought. And, and probably the best storytelling of like Pinocchio that I've ever watched so you know I would recommend that movie if you haven't seen it um so yeah I don't know I guess I don't know if he's gonna be like a villain or something or if he's gonna be somebody yo he might be somebody that's like in prison with Barry and maybe Barry will form some type of like bond with him I don't know I I feel like there's gonna be something where like Barry's gonna try to break out or like Fuse is gonna try to break out or they're gonna try to like come up with some kind of plan or you know it's gonna be something I don't know if he's just gonna be sitting in the the prison uh, or like the you know his cell the whole season I just feel like something's gonna happen I don't know um I know Bill Hader was just on um Jimmy Kimmel the other night and they showed like a little clip and it was um Barry was on the phone in prison and he was talking to Kusino and and yo if when you guys okay so I think this is in the first episode but when you guys hear this conversation like what is wrong with you Barry <laughs> like he's crazy he's still telling Kusino like you know I love you right like you know I care about you like dude if you really love somebody if you really care somebody you would not do like half the things that he like he kidnapped Kusino <laughs> and he has the nerve to call him from prison and be like you know I still love you right like why did you do that to me why did you set me up why did we like uh, that, that's why at this point I'm like I'm just laughing at Barry at this point like I don't feel bad for you anymore like earlier seasons yeah but now it's like you've just done too much and and I don't see him making better choices going forward. I really don't. Um, I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Like, what do you think his fate is going to be? I really feel like he's going to die. Um, and if not die, then maybe he'll just be in prison for the rest of his life. I don't know. But I, I just, I don't see him having a happy ending. And I don't see Bill writing a happy ending for him. Because I really feel like Bill, like, dis like clearly dislikes Barry as a character even though he plays Barry but like every time he talks about Barry he's like he's just so dumb and like you know what I'm saying so it's like I don't, I don't think it would make sense to the story and who we've seen Barry as you know throughout the whole show it just I don't know I just don't feel like that would make sense for him to like run off and be happy or something so I really feel like he's gonna die um that's what I'm predicting anyway. Um, and if I'm right, best believe I'm coming back on here to brag about it. And I'll be like, I told y'all, I told y'all he died. Um, 
And as far as the other characters, I, I mean, obviously, like I said, Hank is my favorite, so I'm, I'm a little concerned about what's going to happen with him. Um, I don't know what, you know, I think, I, I feel like Kusno is still going to be in the mix, as, like with Barry and everything, because um, Janice's dad is still in the show, and so, you know, I, I'm sure it's going to pick back up right where we left off with season three, um, and... I don't know if, like, Kusno and... I, I forget his character's name, but it's played by the actor Robert Wisdom. Um, and so, if you guys remember in the first... First and second season... Um, wait, did she die in the first? God, I don't even remember. You know, okay, if you guys remember the cop Janice that was dating Kusno, uh, dating Kusino, so Barry killed her because she was, you know... She found out who he was and all that kind of stuff and what he was doing, and she was gonna... She was going to um, get him and Barry, you know, shot her. I oh, got Was that season two? I think it was season two. But her father is, um, you know, kind of going to be, I guess, like a main character in the show now. And I don't know what the relationship between him and Kusuno is going to be like. Like, I, I know at the end of season three, they, you know, they did that whole plan. They set Barry up for him to get arrested. So now, like, moving forward, I don't know if they're going to be, like, friends or... Like, I, I don't know what his role is really going to be in this in this season, so I'm interested to kind of see that. And and just, you know, just how all of this is going to affect Kusuno. Like, like Kusuno is pr can be a prick sometimes, too, but he's, like, funny. And, you know, it's like he, he had no idea that Barry was, like, so twisted until last season. So, um... Now, he, now he's in it. And it's like, you know, I don't know what he's going to do. Like, he has his... You know, he's rebuilding his relationship with his son, and then he has his grandchild. Um, and I think now that he has that, he kind of, and since he's lost Janice, I think he kind of realizes a little bit more that, like, you know, I have other people to care about now, and I can't just always think about myself. Whereas I think maybe in season one, in the beginning, it was a little different because he was still estranged from his son, and he hadn't met Janice yet and all that stuff. So I think that's kind of changed him a little bit, but I don't know, you know, the this type of show I, I feel like it could some of the characters can slip back into old ways pretty easily so and I, I definitely feel that for Sally that's why I'm you know I'm, I'm concerned for all of them to be honest but it's like I you know I, it's like I don't think they're all gonna die I just I just really feel like it's gonna be Barry but um as far as Sally yeah I same thing with her like how is she gonna navigate life after what happened in season three um, she killed somebody. Granted, it was, like, self-defense, but it was also, like, it was brutal, though. Um, and I don't think, I don't know how you come back from that, you know? And then on top of that, she lost her show and everything, and, um, I don't know if, like, her and Natalie are still gonna be friends, because she cursed her out, like, uh, all the way. Like, she was so mad at her. Um... And, you know, obviously she broke up with Barry and stuff. And so, and she, and I think with season three, it left off with her um, going back home. So maybe she went, you know, flew back home for like a reset or something like that. Or to try to, you know, just try to figure out what her next steps were going to be. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to go on with her. Um, I'm hoping, like, besides Hank, I'm hoping if anybody else gets, I don't know if it'll be happy, but just some type of, like, it, it, like, if it ends with her being content with where she's at in life or her getting, like, a good opportunity, I feel like, you know, I would like to see that with her. She's ne she's never really been my favorite character, and I've spoke about this before. Like, I've been honest about it, but she's been through a lot, and um, I don't, you know, I don't want to see her get with another violent man. I don't want to see her career flop. I don't want to see... Um, her go down the same path that Barry has gone down. Like, I'm hoping it's not something where she tries to help him and then she gets caught up and I'm like, ooh, girl, leave that man alone because he's dangerous. Okay. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just hoping that, like, she's not stupid, you know? I just, like, Sally, girl, please make good decisions. Please make good decisions from now on. We know that you didn't know. I don't, like, fully blame her about Barry because she didn't know. Nobody really knew except for Fuchs and Hank. But now that you know, like, stay away from this man. Do not try to get back with him. Do not try to help him. Like, don't be in contact with him. Like, this is your ex for a reason. Just remember that, you know. 
So, I, yeah, I'm just hoping, like, yeah, I'm just hoping. I'm hoping good things for her, really. And, um, yeah, I feel like they're kind of, like, the main core, you know, they're, like, the core cast now. Um, honestly, okay, so going back to, like, season three, if you guys remember, um, Chris's wife, so Chris was Barry's friend, um, Barry killed him because Chris was, like, freaking out and was like, we have to go to the police, you know, like, we, we did a really bad thing, like, this is not good, and, you know, Chris was just not made for that life, like, they were in the military together, but Chris was a very, like, sweet, regular guy, like, he had his wife, he had his kid, like, you know, he's like a family man and everything, and he just got caught up, and it was just, like, wrong place, wrong time, just, ma you know, made bad choices, and, and linking back up with Barry, but again, he didn't know that Barry was a hitman until, kind of, like, last minute, um, and, uh, yeah, so he was freaking out, and, and Barry shot him, so he's gone, and his wife found, found, you know, eventually found out that, like, Barry was, you know, the reason why he, um, got killed, the reason why he died, and I think for a while there, people were thinking that it was, like, a suicide, because I think when Barry killed him, it was in the car, and he left the gun, like, in his hand to make it look like he just shot himself, and, you know, his wife was, like, distraught, and she, you know, this whole time, she's probably, like, that doesn't sound like him. Like, why would he kill himself, you know? And now she knows the truth. Because if you guys remember, she poisoned him. I was going to say she tried to poison him, but she really did, though. She poisoned him, um, which was one of the most shocking scenes last season. Because she's always, like, every time they've shown her on screen, she's always been, like, super sweet. And, um, you know, she just, she definitely doesn't come off as a threat. So it's like, you could t definitely tell that, like, she's past her her breaking point for her to do that. Um, so she poisoned him, and I'm sure she thought it was going to kill him, but it didn't. Um, and, again, don't know with, like, the, you know, there was some things that were, it just seemed like everything was closing in on Barry, and it was, like, you know, Chris's wife, and then those, those people from that motorcycle gang were going after him, and I'm kind of wondering, like, with them, oh, and then, oh my god, and I totally forgot about the storyline with the, the lady, um... She went to go, oh my god, I'm, I'm blanking on what happened, but I think she went to go, she went to go kill, was it to kill Barry or something like that? And then she shot the gun, but I think it shot her son or something like that. Or it, it either shot her, her or it shot her son, or it was something like that, and then we didn't see anything. So, like, I feel like there was some loose ends that need to be tied up. I'm, I'm wanting to see, you know more of that, like, how all of that's gonna connect, and if, you know, since Barry is in prison, like, how are they gonna get to him, or if this is, you know, I don't know if that was just maybe for that season, and they're, they're kind of just letting that go, but there was a lot going on, um, and it's, it's hard to remember every single thing, but yeah, it was a lot going on, so, it, like I said, it was super entertaining, and super intense, and there was a lot of, like, good action scenes and everything, but I, I think I've kind of, Looking back, I think I still kind of favor season one and season two a little bit. Um, but as far as, like, cinematography and, like, if you're really into, you know, there's a really cool, like, motorcycle chase scene that I, I mentioned. Um, but, the, yeah, the cinematography was, like, amazing. Um, and, I, you know, I expect that for this season as well because Bill is directing all eight episodes. And I'm really, really happy for him, really proud of him because I know that, like, that's his... I think that's been kind of, like, his main dream since he's came to Hollywood, even though he was, like, on SNL and everything. I think he's always just wanted to direct, and so now he's getting to do that, and um, I'm sure he'll continue to do that even after the show, but I'm kind of sad because then that means that, like, he probably won't be on screen that much. I don't know, but, um, but yeah, so that would be cool to see, knowing that he directed all the episodes this, this go-around, and, and it's the last season, so I feel like that's kind of significant, and, um... God, I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to go over, just so I'm not talking for too long, but, but I'll just say this, like, I, I highly recommend watching this show if you've never seen it before, um, if you're gonna watch season four, I definitely think you should have watched season three to kind of understand where we're picking back up, you know, picking back up from, and, um, 
you know, all the all those like let me know your favorite character, let me know your theories, like what you think is gonna happen, what do you want to happen, what do you think Barry's fate is, um, how do you plan on watching this? Like I said, I think I said this already. I'm gonna watch it on HBO Max, but you can watch it on HBO. Like if you have that channel on your TV, you can watch it on TV as well. But I, um, I'm just gonna get a subscription to HBO Max so I can watch it. And, um, and all the previous seasons are on there as well, so, you know, if you want to go back and binge watch it, you can. And, um, yeah, I just want to know your guys' thoughts. Like, I, 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 I really like being able to talk about this on here, because I want people to, like, interact, so I know that, like, other Barry fans, um, are, are seeing this, or, or, you know, feeling the same way I am, or whatever like that, so, you know, don't be afraid to message me, or comment on my videos, or anything like that, like, I'm always open to have a discussion about a good good TV show. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's that's about it. I mean, I could definitely keep going on and on about <laughs> everything that's happened. Um, so I guess for for oh, and I did say I was gonna give you guys a little like, I guess like a little overview. I mean, you can always you can always go on Google or whatever and look it up to see what the show's about, but. Um, since we're talking about it, the, the show pretty much, I'll say it starts out that way because it doesn't, doesn't fully continue that way. But the show, like the whole synopsis of the show is about Barry, a hitman, former Marine, um, who takes a job or like an assignment. He takes a hit basically, um, that leads him out into LA. And when he gets to LA, he discovers this acting class and then in his brain, for some reason, he thinks, oh, I'll be an actor. And so he starts taking this acting class. But while he's doing that and, and trying to pursue acting, he's still somewhat, or not even somewhat, he's still a hitman. He's still taking jobs. And so he's kind of like caught between these two worlds. And then, you know, his crime, like the whole crime world starts to spill into his personal life and um, the things, you know, everything like with the acting. And so he's, you know just trying to keep up with that and not get caught is basically what the show is about it sounds crazy because it is um but like i said the the acting class is really only in the first two seasons so season three there's no acting class and this season i doubt there will be as well so that's why i said it starts out that way but then the, the show kind of shifted i think after season two so um but yeah watch it for yourself and let me know like what you think hopefully i can get some of y'all into the show um, but yeah, it is a, it, you know, it's HBO, so they, you know, when they show the violence, they show it for real, for real, so it is, sometimes it's kind of bloody or kind of gory a little bit, um, and it's pretty intense, so, you know, just a fair warning, I'm just letting you guys know, but if you're, like, into crime or action or things like that, then you'll probably enjoy it, and like I said, there's a little bit of comedy in it as well, um, and yeah, it's definitely become like one of my favorite shows this past, like the past few years. So um, this was the one show that I was looking forward to coming back on this one. And then of course, Stranger Things, but Stranger Things is not, I don't think that's coming back on until like next year. So we have a, a, a long time before I can, you know, start talking about like season five and everything. But hopefully I'm still doing the podcast thing because I would love to, to, to do that. Do like an episode by episode dis discussion like I'm going to be doing for Barry. Um... But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And again, if um, you're not following, you know, my Facebook page or subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do that so you can kind of keep up when I drop new episodes and everything like that. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, I'm kind of hoping that, I, I say this all the time, but hoping to have more guests on, and, you know, if I could get somebody from Barry, that would be pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, um, I would definitely be fangirling, I did interview Chrissy Carvinati, she was the costume designer for season three, so, again, if you missed that, you can go back and look at that on my channel, um, I spoke to her sometime last year, I think, it was, it might have been, like, almost a year ago, which is crazy, um, so yeah, I'm hoping to, to try to kind of get some more guests and stuff, and, you know, um, I don't really have like a set plan of what show or what content I want to talk about after Barry because I'm, I'm already trying to think ahead because I know this is going to go by so fast. Um, but you guys, of course, I'm always open to like recommendations of like TV shows that you want me to watch or or movie reviews or anything like that. I'll still probably continue to do that as well. 
Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, you know what? You know what other show I'm looking forward to? Or I might be looking forward to? It depends on if the show is good or not. There is um, a... There is a series coming out on HBO and HBO Max. Or actually, it might just be HBO Max. Let me not lie. Um, but it's going to be about... It's going to be about it. And it's called Welcome to Dairy. And I know you guys like really again with the it stuff. I'm, I'm sorry. It's like one of my favorite movies. And I, I just love the whole story. But they're making a show about it. And this show is going to be like a prequel. Because it's talking about like... It's going like way back. Like Dairy's history. And maybe like how Pennywise started to be a thing. And I don't know. I feel like it has potential to be good. So I'm hoping it is. I don't know like who's going to be Pennywise or if Pennywise is actually going to be in the show. Um, but like I said, since it's going to be on HBO Max, like HBO, you know, they they pretty much show everything. So I feel like the violence in it and the gore is going to be like, it's going to be pretty good. Um, and Andy, the same director who directed both of the It movies, he's a part of the show. So I'm kind of like, okay, this is looking kind of, this is looking kind of good. I might want to watch this. So when that comes out, hopefully I'll still have HBO Max, y'all. If it if I do, then I'll definitely do reviews about that show as well. Um, and yeah, so I feel like those are kind of going to be like the upcoming things. Just know I'm going to be talking about Barry for like the next month. So get ready, y'all. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's coming out tomorrow. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, the fact that I'm going to have to wait a whole week before I can talk about the episode with you guys, though. But I'll, I'll try to take some notes as I'm watching. So then that way I'll remember, like, what happened and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to go. And um, I will see you guys next weekend. And we're going to we're gonna be going into the first episode of Barry, season four. It's going to be a whole discussion about what's happening. So please watch it so you guys kind of are like, you know, up to date and I'm not spoiling anything for you because I'm going to be talking about the episodes and, um, yeah, we're going to continue on for the whole season. <sighs> Here we go, y'all. Here we go. I feel like I'm getting on a roller coaster. Here we go. I'll see you guys next weekend. I hope you guys have a good week. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.